Hey everybody, Keith Brown, Tack Room Devotional, and welcome. Uh, this week, I want to do something a little different. I want to just look at a psalm. We're going to look at Psalm 34. And you know, we were looking at Proverbs the last couple of weeks about wisdom. And when we look in Psalms, there's so much information. And what I'd like to do is I'd just like to take this this psalm, Psalm 34, and break it down and 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 open it up, you know, see what makes it tick. Now we know it's a psalm of David uh, when he pretended madness before Abelic, who drove him away and he departed. And, and you can read about that whole st story. But um, this is David. David was a great psalmist. David was, uh, uh, ha had the heart after God. Um, uh, and, and all these different things. And, and I want to just, like I say, break this down, take it apart, see what makes this psalm tick. So we're going to do that this week. So let's just read it, okay? I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall continually be in my mouth. My soul shall make its boast in the Lord. The humble shall hear of it and be glad. Oh, magnify the Lord with me. And let us exalt his name together. I sought the Lord and he heard me and delivered me from all my fears. They, uh, they looked at him and were radiant and their faces were not ashamed. This poor man cried out and the Lord heard him and saved him out of all of his troubles. The angel of the Lord encamps all around those who fear him and delivers them. Ooh, glory to God. Oh, Oh, taste and see that the Lord is good. Blessed is the man who trusts in him. Oh, fear the Lord, you his saints. There is no want to those who fear him. The young lions lack and suffer hunger, but those who seek the Lord shall not lack any good thing. Come, you children, listen to me. I will teach you the fear of the Lord. Who is the man who desires life and loves many days that he may see good? Keep your tongue from evil and your lips from speaking deceit. Depart from evil and do good. Seek peace and pursue it. The eyes of the Lord are on the righteous and his ears are open to their cry. The face of the Lord is against those who do evil to cut off the remembrance of them from the earth. The righteous cry out, and the Lord hears, and delivers them out of all of their troubles. The Lord is near to those who have a broken heart, and saves such as have a contrite spirit. Many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord delivers him out of them all. He guards all his bones, not one of them is broken. Evil shall slay the wicked, and those who hate the righteous shall be condemned. The Lord redeems the soul of his servants, and none of those who trust in him shall be condemned. Now again, we read this. I hope you'll read it over again, and allow the Holy Spirit to begin to minister to you the words of David and what he's trying to say here. I'm going to take just a few minutes to get started on this. If you look here, notice it says, I will bless the Lord at all times. It does not say, I am happy at all times. It says, I will bless the Lord at all times. In other words, the psalmist, David here, is saying, by an act of his will, he chooses to bless the Lord. You see, and we need to get a hold of this. It's very important because many times people want God just to make them happy. Just God make me feel good. God take care of all my needs. But it begins with us blessing God. It begins with, with us making a conscious decision that I will bless the Lord. If you read Psalm 103, it says, Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me, bless his holy name. Now, once again, there's the psalmist David saying, I will bless the Lord, uh, my soul. And he tells his soul, bless the Lord, O my soul. The soul is our, 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 our soulish realm is our mind, will, and emotions. That's our personality. So his spirit is saying to his soul, you will bless the Lord. Well, the same thing here. He says, I will bless the Lord at all times. In other words, he's telling his soulish realm, his soulish man, you will bless the Lord. That tells me that this is a conscious decision by David. 
I will bless the Lord. Let's do that today. All right, we'll pick this up again tomorrow. And uh, remember, Jesus loves you. I love you. I pray that God would richly bless you as you diligently seek him and serve him. And remember, today, bless the Lord.